Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So in today's episode we're going to watch all the time frames from the Bitcoin price and also on the DXY because it is very important that currently we're watching also into the DXY price action since I see some bullish signs there but I think that in the short term Bitcoin could reach still this 11k target that we still have here but let's analyze all the time frames and then discuss if we are able to push through higher here or if we are on the way towards 9k maybe even lower and before we start with that keep in mind that we still have our ten dollar worth of bitcoin giveaway going on so if you didn't subscribe yet from our monday subscription video then make sure to participate and put your common and bitcoin address in the video that is popping up at the end of this video and also if you want to trade bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage you find all the recommended exchanges down below here in the video description with my links you support the channel and also you will get some free bonus so up to 538 dollars in bonus if you use the links down below here and now let's get started here in the one hour time frame in the bitcoin price because as you can see we are in this downwards moving channel and it looks like that currently we are getting supported by this $9,900 area and if we are starting to trade like this that we're gonna have this 9900 as a support and this downwards coming resistance here this red line this in my opinion is more looking like a descending triangle which could potentially break out to the downside and the target would be down here at our next bearish target of around $9,100. So on the way down to this level I think we will have some support especially at this $9,500 area but if we continue to break out to the downside and watch out for this $9,200 I think there we should have some initial strong support because there is also where the 200 daily moving average is lining up and currently here in the one hour the bitcoin price is starting to look again a bit more bullish so let's see if we're able to push through this ten thousand three hundred dollar resistance if so then my target is at around ten thousand six hundred dollar where also the 200 moving average is lining up here in the one hour currently we are trading again above the 50 level in the rsi which is a good sign and also if we go over into the bollinger band you can see that currently we're trading here in the upper area and uh, the top is here at 10,220 and the bottom here, the middle line is at 10,100. Only if we would lose again this 10K area, then watch out here for this 9,960 because there we should have another bounce to the upside and potentially also confirm that we are currently in a potential descending triangle, which is a very bearish pattern. And we have currently the stochastic overbought, which could indicate that we're gonna see here another retest of this $10,100 coming up. But since the KST and the MACD now is shifted to the upside, I think in the next couple of hours we could see a possible $10,300 retest here and then hopefully also break it to the upside. But currently we are still in, in this channel and we are waiting here for a possible breakout. And now let's have a look also into the DXY in the one hour because here you can see that currently the DXY is looking very very bullish we are trading above all the moving averages here in the one hour and also we are testing here this resistance here at 9360 so if you are able to break through here I think the next target could be at around 95 dollars therefore we have to go into the bigger time frames but currently you can see that we are fighting here with this main resistance that we had here since many days now and if we are able to break through this is going to be very bullish for the dxy and very bearish for the stock market and also for bitcoin it looks like that we could have a potential correction here it looks a bit over exhausted here the one hour time frame also the rsi is here in overbought condition now since many hours so i think there is still a chance that we maybe could retrace back to the 50 or 200 moving average before we're gearing up for a next big move to the upside here in the dxy and now let's go back to the bitcoin chart and open up the four hour time frame because here you can clearly see that we are getting rejected currently from the 20 moving average in the four hour which is a very bearish sign if we are able to close a four hour candle above $10,200 then this could initiate a potential push here towards $10,300 and also go higher towards our 11k 
target at least here for the short term i think we could see a possible push through here towards 11k but if we are failing right now then for sure we're gonna continue here the dump towards 9k and potentially even lower if the dxy is really starting to push hard to the upside the four hour here is still looking a bit bearish in my opinion but we have a bullish divergence here with the bitcoin price and the rsi currently we are also testing the 50 level in the rsi so if we have a push through here to the upside and we are trading again in the upper area this could lead into a bigger move to the upside in the bitcoin price and potentially another correction in the dxy now let's go over to the Bollinger Band in the four hour here in the Bitcoin price because here you can see that currently we had a close above the middle line. So in theory here we could go easily towards this $10,300 resistance here at the top. But everything is going to depend also on the DXY. If the DXY is able to push through the resistance then I think we will see another correction here in the Bitcoin price potentially even down again towards $9,900. But since we closed now this four hour candle here in the bullish area in the Bollinger band and also the dxy is looking like it could have a correction i think we could be in here for a possible push towards 10,300 very soon i still have my long position open since yesterday i'm still on the water but most likely as soon as i'm in profits i'm gonna put a stop loss because currently bitcoin is just chopping around here in this area and it is very hard to trade right now to make big gains so currently you can just scalp a bit the price but big gains when we're trading like this is very hard to do unless you of course go with high leverage in and the four hour here is still looking very bullish we have currently the stochastic macd and the kst shifted to the upside so the four hour is pointing out that we will see here the next couple of hours a push through here towards 10,300 and maybe even above and if we go over to the dxy here we have the opposite this is looking a bit toppy here currently also watching it the rsi is very overbought and my own indicator is showing here that we are getting into complete overbought condition and a possible correction at least down here towards the 20 or 200 moving average in the four hour here so at 93 dollars is very likely to come only if we were able to push through this resistance i think then this could be denied but it really looks like that we could be in here for a major correction in the dxy which would lead into a possible push on bitcoin and now let's go back to the bitcoin chart and open up the daily time frame because here also you can see that after the crash that we had down to this uh, 9900 to 9800 dollar currently we are consolidating here a bit the rsi is in oversold condition and also my own indicator is showing that we are getting into very close here oversold condition and we could see a buy signal coming up pretty soon which in my opinion would take us at least towards here this eleven thousand dollar where the 20 and 50 daily moving average are lining up but since i think the dxy is getting more bullish right now i don't think that we will be able to push through here so i don't think that we will go higher than eleven thousand or eleven thousand five hundred dollar and also take out the highs that we had here at around 12k to twelve thousand five hundred dollar but this is what we have to see once we are seeing a possible push here to the upside and if we go to the dxy here you can see why i think the dxy is looking now more bullish because we had here a successful close now above the 20 daily moving average and the next targets are here the 50 which is at 94 dollars and here the 200 daily moving average at 9740 i don't think that we will go that high but it is still possible and that would indicate that we're going to see a major crash in the stock market and also in the bitcoin price if this is going to happen so here the dxy is looking very bullish in my opinion and even if we would go up here to this 200 daily moving average in the bigger picture of course we would still remain bearish here so we will still remain below the 200 daily moving average which is a bearish sign but we could be in here at least for the short to mid term in a possible rally to the upside here in the DXY. Also watching here at the RSI, you can see that currently we're starting to trade above the 50 level, which is very bullish. And after we got here a buy signal in my own indicator, we started immediately to pump here. And I think we still have a lot of room left to the upside. So this could be really dangerous here for the short to mid term for Bitcoin and also for the stock market. And that's why make sure that you also have some cash on the sideline Line because cash is king when everything is coming down because you will be able to buy really cheap bitcoin and stocks if you want also to invest in some stocks so this would be a perfect buy opportunity if we're gonna see a push to the upside here in the dx 
why which currently in the daily is really looking bullish in my opinion and now we can go back to the bitcoin chart and open up the Bollinger Band in the daily time frame because currently you can see that we are still trading here in the lower end so there is still a high chance that we could push here towards the middle line so between these two moving averages here of 10,550 to 11,000 dollar this is also what I think will happen in the next coming hours or days the problem is only here that we have the MACD and KSD still shifted to the downside and we would remain still here in the lower end of the Bollinger Band so the daily, in my opinion, for the Bitcoin price is not looking too great. Of course, we could be in here for a possible bounce for the short term. Stochastic is oversold. But as I told you, as long as we're not closing candles above $11,000, even better above $11,500, we will remain shifted to the downside as long as the DXY is also looking so bullish. And now let's go over to the weekly time frame because the weekly is still looking very bullish even though I got here a sell signal but currently we are bouncing from the 20 weekly moving average which is a very good sign and also the RSI now is coming to the 50 level so we're still trading here in the upper area and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band you can also see that currently we're trading between the two moving averages here so between 9950 and eleven thousand dollar so as long as we're trading within this channel we're gonna have to wait where we're gonna close a weekly candle above or below these two moving average that will indicate where we're gonna be trading in the next couple of weeks and months but currently as long as we're trading within this range Bitcoin is probably just going to stay in this region for the next couple of days and weeks and that's why we should be prepared for all scenarios because here the weekly is looking a bit toppy and I think we could be in for some more pushes to the downside potentially even down to 8k where the bottom is here in the Bollinger Band in the weekly I don't think that we have to go necessarily that low but based here also in the Fibonacci retracement you can see that 8000 is here the 0.5 fib line and if we have a continuation of this major crash then watch out here for the 0.618 fib line at $7,200 because this was also a very important price level when we had the crash here in March because here we first faced some resistance and right now this could be a new support a very heavy new support and for the worst case scenario if we're really coming down so below 9 and 8k I think this price level should save us and even if we come down to this price level down to $7,200 we will remain still on our way to the upside thanks to this breakout of 10k even if we would retrace down to $7,200 $200 we will create a higher low and then potentially gearing up here for the next big move to the upside will then definitely would take out also this high here $12,500 and now we can also have a look into the weekly time frame here in the DXY because here we got exactly the opposite we got here a buy signal in my own indicator and also you can see that the RSI was very oversold here and this area here this $91.70 was screaming for a possible bounce and currently we are seeing a healthy bounce here in the DXY which potentially could take us towards here the 20 weekly moving average which is at 95 dollars so i think this 95 to 94 dollars we will see potentially coming up in the next coming days or weeks and if the dxy is coming up to those levels then we're going to see a major correction in the bitcoin price and also in the stock markets and that could be a perfect buy opportunity for the next bull run so you don't have to fomo in once the price is going to sky rocket here but overall the big picture is still looking very bullish for bitcoin but be prepared that we could see some more pushes to the downside not only to cover the cme gap at 9600 but potentially even go lower if the dxy is starting to push here to the upside because the dxy is really starting to look bullish in my opinion and that is very dangerous for bitcoin and the stock market all right guys and with that said i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget to participate on our ten dollar worth of bitcoin giveaway we do it weekly and also don't forget to moon up the likes here subscribe to the channel join our free discord trading chat you find the link down below here in the video description also i have a twitch channel if you have twitch you can join me also over there so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye